Good Wednesday morning to everybody. Jenna Jekyll Bates. It is uh, Wednesday, the 10th of April, 2019. This is your workshop update real quick. Um, we're making the spring transition here. We've done a deep clean here in the shop and everything is open and beautiful and I can see outside. And it's the first time that I've done that in probably a year and a half and it really needed to get done and uh, it's beautiful outside. So who wouldn't want to work in these conditions? It's gonna be about 80 degrees, and this shop door is gonna stay open as long as humanly possible before I have to do air conditioning out here. But in the meantime, let's get to it. We've spent 45 seconds too long talking about the shop, and let's talk about all this stuff that's right here. We're gonna start with these. Now, I can't say that I'm faultless, but occasionally there is an oops. So uh, Ronnie Moore and Janelle Davis, I apologize. This is the busiest time of the year for me, and uh, occasionally I mess up, so here's what happened. <laughs> Apparently I switched shipping labels um, a couple of weeks ago, and these two went to Janelle, and this one went to Ronnie, and it should have been reversed. So I've repainted them, uh, I spoke with both of my customers yesterday on the phone, and it does happen rarely, like maybe once every year and a half, but usually it happens in the spring when I'm getting the spring rush. And I, you know what? I am a, a humble enough person and, and honest to tell you when I'm wrong. And I was wrong and I'm sorry. So you guys just keep the baits that I've sent you, even though they were wrong. And I've already sprayed your baits did them last night, clear coated them. They're getting shipped out this morning. So this is the uh, Wildfire Tiger. And the big sexy shad. And then this is coming to you, Janelle, which is the Imperial Red Eyed Crawl in the holographic foil suspending 110. On to the next group. You guys have already seen that, so we don't need to go through any of that stuff. That's already been done. This has already been done. Uh, that hasn't, but it's uh, stuff that you guys have probably seen before. This is a Lake Charles Shad. Very cool pattern. Really good in springtime. North to south. Doesn't matter where you are in the States. This is something that I kind of did uh, on a whim. I'm calling it Plum Loco. And it is a reddish plum. These are Jets and Eyes, so you can go find him always at jetsandlures.com. Awesome, awesome eyes. Best in the business. Handcrafted right here in the United States for you guys. So there's Plum Loco. This is a copper gill. Little fluorescent orange on the chest and throat. Up into that raw umber and then a magenta black detail. No black anywhere on this, true black, just the black magenta detailing from Wicked. I think that's colored 0075. I usually keep about 32 ounces of it around because I use it heavily. Really good for shading, really good for details. I haven't shown you guys this in a while. This is Sabretooth Tiger. Very fun pattern on those little Johnnies. Always available at www.jekyllbaits.com. Threadfin Shad on a 1.5 DD. A couple of those, and these are all paired off. Uh, this one is not. This is the Calico Crappie and a Deep Diver. Separate order. You guys, I've spent enough time talking about that. What else do we have today? Oh, some Bluff Craws. Love these little guys. This is the Bluff Craw on a Wiggler. And just to give you guys a, a quick shout on the website, the 2019 um, patterns, the new patterns, should upload to the website by this weekend. So, this is Copper Craw. This was one of the rollouts for 2018 and still one of my favorite and most popular patterns. As we whip around, I think, well, you guys have maybe seen this, maybe not. This is a half ounce, pre-foiled. You can see the uh, 
the shine and the flash underneath the paint using transparent paint. That's how you get that effect. Uh, gives you just enough shine to where when it moves through the water, it's going to react like scales do, but you can still see the paint and the pattern on it. So we have this in that Arkansas River Crawl. Just a little bit of blue on the tips, orange on the segments, on the belly segments. And then also did it in a red. Love working with those transparent paints and just doing a red to orange to yellow fade on this one. And again, the detailing is all black magenta, a little bit of green on the nose, and not a true black. It's, it's just a, a much better shading technique. Uh, and, I, and I always try to keep improving and building on the stuff that I can do. And that's one way to do it. Just little subtle things like changing, going from like all solid black to something a little more muted. And this is one good way to do it. So that's what we've got for you guys today. It's a short one, I know, but we've got lots to get back to. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Um, I think I showed you these guys. That's Mr. Stitches there. Um, I think I showed that to you guys already. But much more to come. We got spray sessions coming out this week. We've got the rest of the fishing from last week. And I will see you guys on the water. Happy casting.